you're on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tiger TV as we uh, live stream the round three quarter game between the Rokoko Musa Tigers and the strong heavyweights from the Gold Coast, Palm Beach, Columban. Uh, beautiful day here in Musa. Uh, well, it's just about to be bounced as we go. Round three quarter. Rokoko over Musa. A beautiful day. Bounce the ball goes up. Big crow tries to kick it off the ground from Palm Beach, goes out towards the wing position now. But lots of congestion, they're hard, they're hard at the footy, both teams. You can see the intensity straight away. Yeah, I was really impressed with McKendrick there, um, just to stop that ball going forward. Otherwise, that would have been a clear uh, clearance out of the centre there. Well, I think the contested part of it, JR. Uh, welcome, JR, with me, one of our media team uh, co commentary today, mate. But yeah, I think one of the, the big points would be the contested footy for Noosa. And they'll, they'll be out to hunt, and obviously, you know, a better showing of what they did against Wilson Range, even though it was only a point. But uh, when you're challenged uh, by some of these Gold Coast heavyweights, you really have to be on your game right from the word go. Oh, absolutely. It's 100 minutes of football they've got to play today to uh, um, they head down towards a half forward. Frank there with the left foot kick and the young Angus Knight traps it, he's got to be tackled, he gets, gets his hand the ball and the ball goes out of bounds and Riley Duntane takes it over and the boundary down pie says I'll uh, throw it back in. Forward pocket, sort of halfway between the forward pocket, forward flank, uh, wiper road end which is the way uh, the Palm Beach Columbia Lions are kicking. In comes the ball. Quite a big throw in there from the umpire, neither had a decisive tap, very scrappy in there at the moment. Uh, Riley Buntane takes the ball out of the, out of the stoppage. It's very, very hard in there, JR, at the moment. Lots of tackling, lots of players around the ball, mate. Yeah, it's, um, it's good to see. It's a good start from both teams. Um, one thing that uh, was, I guess, lacking from the first quarter of two weeks ago was that intense pressure around the football. But that was uh, dreadful conditions and uh, no such excuses today. The beautiful no. day here. Just a blood roll there for the number five Palm Beach blokes. Just coming off for the blood roll. The umpire, half forward flag, right on the 50 metre arc on the half forward flag, heading uh, the wide road end, Palm Beach end. Throws the ball up. Riley Rickard gets a nice tap down towards Joy Fitzpatrick, who come, who's actually come back uh, a line play with Asper. It's great to have him back for the Tigers. Once again, another scrimmage in there. Uh, Palm Beach gets a handball out towards centre half forward now. Players go for it. O'Dwyer goes for the Palm Beach goes forward, a punch, probably could have marked there, the Noosa play, well, the Montaigne just fumbles a bit forward, comes out towards Fleming, ball from Warnable, and runs away from congestion beautifully, and that's a very, very beautiful little switch over to Mad Pettigrew. This is what Noosa want to do, JR, they want to get their running game going and transition from defence. Yeah, I'd um, really like to see that when it happens, the running game, um, you know, to get off half-back. They looked the most dangerous two weeks ago against Wilson Gray when they got back going. A massive mark from Wilson, our power forward, who's going to go in, but watch out, now it's 50 metres, the Palm Beach boat didn't stand on the mark, the new rule, you must stand still, so this gives Aaron Wilson uh, a big recruit this year, um, played a lot of footy at, uh, at VFL level, both at Port Melbourne and uh, at Frankston, so he'll line up, oh, I'd say from the 40 metres out, almost directly in front. I'd say JR maybe a slight breeze in with that, or is it coming straight across to us? I'd say right to left from where we're looking at at the moment, um, but it's only a very slight breeze, you should make a difference here. He comes to Wilson. He'll kick from about 45. He likes it too. That's, that's, that's what they wanted. First goal goes to the Wilson Tigers. Aaron Wilson. Fantastic mark from behind. Almost looked like he wasn't going to get near the ball. He got given a 50 metre penalty. Ah, uh, 50 metre penalty. And he's converted to put uh, the Wilson Tigers on the board. And he used for a 1 goal 6 to Palm Beach just to score. It, it really goes to show, show um, that, that, that new rule, rule that's coming in is how important it can be to a game. I mean, I mean uh, Palm Beach go from a centre wing uh, position uh, in defence to all of a sudden they're standing on the mark for a goal to go over there. It's, it really is a, it, it's, it's a big, uh, big penalty, isn't it? I think, JR, you would be something that a training you still have to be practising all the time. You know, it's only a new rule. I think it's improved the game at AFL level with how quick the game's going at the moment. But um, up we go, go again. We got again another really good tap out to Fleming. He's starving well. Gets a handle on. He's in trouble there. Dry fits Patrick. Um, I didn't pay, but he's got to pay, yes. He's paid at the time. He's holding the ball play on now. He's got his left out towards the wing. A nice little chip over the crowd. Excellent. No Ruckman and Fleming should play. Goes long. In the middle center forward. The number, the numbers, got the numbers there. Captain Lasky goes through. Reads the ball behind. What's over there? That's Lasky with the kick. He was tackled after he got rid of the ball. I think he'll come, come back, back to our cap. Uh, Moose is captain Aaron Lusky. And Lusky will take, take the ball. Uh, sort of half-back flank. He's going to move over the other side of the ground. He goes long. 
Father, we put Meredith, Meredith Tyson on out of there. And this little transition started right now, so we got to be on the box. He goes long. Couldn't get the uh, good pick up again from last year. He needs to get rid of it. He did. Probably didn't get enough handle on the Palm Beach to get it back out. Moving towards the half of the Still Palm Beach, but the pressure is really good from both sides of the moment. Good tackle again from Lusa. They're on the hunt today here at the Coco Island. Really good start, I reckon. Yeah, yeah they're, they're both teams are very, very tough for the contest. And it's, um, it's, it's a wonderful game, 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 game to watch so far. far. What's the umpire done here, Jay? No, he's just going to pull it up. Yeah, just, just looking for Ruckman. Look out again, another fantastic tap out against a, someone a lot taller than him. Bill comes out, turn up, break it down, Fitzpatrick, way through beautifully, lovely hands. Meredith couldn't take it. Palm Beach come back here. Uh, the other side, side. they've got a few players, players back. They just move the ball backwards just, just, uh, just, just to calm, calm it down a little bit. He's still a hunt there. The pressure's, pressure's been fantastic. Goes forward. forward. Half forward flank. We had two there. Probably like, like a talk there. Falls to the front. Right. Yeah, like a great right. tackle there. That's hard to ball. The pressure they put the pressure today. They find that McCrimmon from Tasmania JR and Vice Captain. Fantastic. Yeah, that pressure on half back line then really. Affected that kick going into their forward line then, into the Palm Beach forward line, which um, uh, got the turnover. Yeah, just a poor kick going forward, Will O'Boy did the right thing by playing on there, but his kick uh, wasn't to the advantage of Jack Harp and Palm Beach now go forward towards a half forward flank. Yep, yep, yeah, commentary position there. Well, the Buntane will take it, he's got the hands out. Good work there for Dylan, to Dylan Goblin, he goes back to Buntane. Buntane goes right to Davis Hummer, Fleming's got a bit of room, if he can get through, he's got to go back to, had to be a better hand more than that, Palm Beach. Number 99 there, Jay. We don't often see that. The old get smart. Unbelievable. We go forward and make a job. He's dropped the sitter in the goal line there. But number Lisa have the numbers. Ned gets it out to Buntane once again. He's just fumbled the ball's hands just a little bit there and it goes over the boundary line, which wasn't a bad result. But uh, it could have been a lot worse for that mark drop there in the forward line, Jay. It's a very, very dangerous spot to drop a mark, isn't it? Everything start nice and quick. Very contested footy. Lots of players around the ball. Nice big. Balling again from the boundary umpire. Rickard again gets the ball out. Palm Beach still searching to go for it. Buntane again working really hard. Good hands. Need to get the kick lobbed in. And then that's a good mark. Tommy Marr making his uh, first second. One of the young boys didn't play last year, but has been playing fantastic footy in the, in the seconds. That wasn't a great kick. Palm Beach, number 15 marks it just in front of our commentary position. Goes long in the fourth pocket. Buntane sets himself and takes a good mark. They're ready to switch again, that's what they do. Oh, it's a 50, no, what's the umpire said now? No, just telling you to come back onto the man on the mark. Buntane short to Meredith, Meredith played on. He's got to go, the centre kick, it's got to be a good one. Got to go, he's needed to put two hands up, he's got to butter up, needs to pick it up. Got to be, this is got to be clean. Palm Beach got it out. Again, here we go, go into the centre, last he drops from it. It's just in front of him, he gets a handle back. They've got numbers there, Lisa. The Crimin goes long towards centre half forward. Although towards the centre, it's a good mark for Fitzpatrick. Yeah, great mark. Over he goes to Jake Stewart. Jake Stewart's got to go long. Wilson's in a great spot. It's a beautiful kick. Got to go. Oh, he's pulled it to the left. Wilson have it. He's a stack to give it back to Wilson. He can wheel around. Will he gets enough on it? I'm not sure. There's two on the run down here. Jack Harvard's got his main mark. Taking a great mark. Jack Harvard in the forward pocket. Yeah, yeah, great judgment, great, great use of the body there by Jack Harper. Uh, so go back and slot it now. He did a little beautiful kick for goal, Jay. That ball was up in the air for a very long time, as you said, with a fantastic judgment in the end. But Jack Harper, fairly, fairly uh, slow angle, well, a fairly difficult angle, but uh, the, the wind is probably firing. It'd be going towards that, uh, probably going towards the left goal post, I reckon, Jay. But this one is a beautiful thumping kick of footy. Great right from Buntane and some of the back and back there. Transition again. Those are really looking to move the ball quickly once they get it on their turn. He's back to two half up. Another one to Noosa. So here we are on the head to Noosa scoreboard. Eight and a half minutes played in the first quarter to Noosa Tigers. The Rococo Noosa Tigers, two goals, 12 leading Palm Beach into score. I think, I think um, the, the coaching, coaching team would be pretty happy with that transition forward. forward that, as you said, it was looking to move the ball on very, very quickly. And once you do that, you set up that, those one-on-ones. On ones. And it's very, 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 very dangerous, dangerous when you get those one-on-ones in your forward line. And Jack Harper made most, most of it. Definitely right, Jay. And already Wilson, the power forward, is looking dangerous up there. So if you can keep him one-on-one and plenty of space, I think that that's where we can have a big advantage today, the New South Tigers. I'm really looking forward to see Wilson and Harper have that connection between them, see what they can what they can. I'm ready to bounce the ball again. 
Up they go, Rickard. It's it again been fantastic in those set of bounces. But Arm makes it taken away. Great tackle. The pressure has been fantastic. Rickard. Goes long, well, short, short towards South for a good, good mark from Palm Beach. Beach. Down the umpire didn't hide, said it was touch. I think, I think you'll have to come in. No, the ball spills out. Here they go again. The pressure's been great. They're trying to get the little dudes. They're hunting from the forward line. Palm Beach taking on the half back flank. They go up towards the wing. It's a beautiful kick. Was it a bit late? No, no, no. I suppose you have to do that. Palm Beach take a mark. Call it on the half back flank on the other side of the ground. On the scoreboard side of the ground. He's going to look to go in the board. Which I noticed in there too, they are very, very really, really happy, happy just to keep, keep uh, that they don't mind going short. They hit the ball up to him as leading, which is their trait. Yeah, very much a hurt possession team, aren't they? Angus, Angus Spine takes, takes it back here at Sonar. They're going to go again. They're going to switch again. They really, this is what they work on. This is the transition that ball. Use the switch and use their pace. Right, so at the world's last what can he do? He's just fighting out there with two of them. Needs to get out of help. I think Lash is going to get a free kick there. Well done, he deserved that. Four three or four efforts there. In he comes. comes. He's, He's got to go long. long. And he and does. Wilson's it's a beautiful kick. kick. Magnificent kick from Captain Allen last year to Wilson, who takes the ball. Right, he'd be 45 minutes on the 50 metre line, JR, of the old uh, the Bank of Queensland Lucas Superbox, where Junior Kennedy are enjoying their refreshments today. So it'll uh, take a very good kick from there, but. Uh, he, he looks, looks like he's lining up and pretty confident that'll go. Yeah, tough kick from there, uh, almost up against the boundary line there. Um, as you say, 45, 50 out. Uh, it will take, we'll take his best from here. He looks around. It's a long, beautiful, big kick down there. there. No, it's it's part on the line on the bottom of the goal line from Palm Beach. Now it's gone through from behind. So Wilson now started very well. Just faded it across uh, to the right point post. So, so 11 and a half minute mark at Smith's at 2 goals, 1 13. Leading Palm Beach get the score. Here they go again, Wilson. They're going again. Meredith has a shot. He's right on the 50 metre line. Goes long. Oh, there's a mark. Who's that to? Palm Beach again. No one back there? They're happy to run it off too. Lovely kick out towards the sort of the back pocket. Half back flank. Palm Beach just happy to control the ball at the moment. Keep it short. Keep it in the hands of their jumpers. They don't, they don't mind doing that centre kick. I watched a bit of the footage the other night with Coach Bogolino and they don't. They'll go this, the, the kicking in the middle. Here they go, they're transitioning quite well now. They move the ball up to forward of the centre wing. The man's got to stand on the mark. It's a funny thing that they are where you can't put any pressure when you stand, when you're being told to stand still. What's he paid the mark there, the umpire? Yeah, there's a mark being paid to Palm Beach. Half forward flank. He'd be nearly on the 50 metre line. He'd take a very, very good kick from there. Yeah, like you mentioned, it's, um, you know, you grow up your, your whole footy life um, putting pressure on the mark and then to be told all of a sudden <laughs> that, you, that you can't stand still and it's an adjustment, adjustment. It is, but already you, you can notice it today, but uh, this will take a big kick. 45 to 50 metres out, and we'll aim it at the right goal post while we're right in. I don't think that's going to get the distance, it's just going to pop around. We've got anyone there, and Palm Beach had their hands on it, couldn't get it. There you go, quick handball out, Palm is still there, still good tackling there for the rest of the pressure, has been terrific for them so far, and again, they've been really hard to tie with so far. Palm Beach has another snap, this one's coming around, they need to get someone there, and it's gone through, rush for a pop, behind, good effort there from Palm Beach, was a nice snap. Off they go again, they're straight off, rolling over all of his boom rifle, right that's a beautiful kick. Now there's a kick. There's not much further, I think they'll have to come in more than they do. Got a few players sitting in there in the middle there. That's, um, I'm wondering if they're going to do the transition to the corridor. Wilson gives it to Godwin. Another good effort from Wilson. Another good Meredith. Can't get it. Wasn't a good handball by Wilson. Or able to get it out. Fitzpatrick gets a handball out towards the over towards the uh, Bank of Queensland super box. It's wrapped over the uh, barrel line. Then the umpire said, "I'll come in and throw it up." Yeah, it's like an effort from Fitzpatrick there to um, after the era to uh, to know that. Competition. Just uh, nearly on to uh, 14 minutes of the first quarter, and Lusa uh, 2 1 13, leading Palm Beach one behind. I have to tell young Tom Starks he's missed a point there from Lusa, he hasn't put it up on the score, but we can do that at quarter time. Oh, the fantastic heads of Lusa scoreboard out there. Yeah, I've got to you a fantastic, beautiful day, JR for Sponsors Day, and uh, I, you, you couldn't, couldn't think enough without the club sponsors, whether it be gold, platinum, player or sign sponsors, um, 
The clubs don't run without them, so they, I hope they're having a fantastic day here on the uh, Head Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Oh, yeah, they deserve it, 100%. Yeah, big hats off, big congratulations. Matthew Johnson gets the hands just on the umpire's got it. Yes, I've got uh, yeah, the umpire did have his whistle in his mouth. We can um, hear the, the ramifications coming from Newsom's box. They weren't very happy with that decision. It's gone straight into the nice little kick, well weighted kick. One of the fourth from Palm Beach has marked the ball 20 metres, almost directly in front out. Kicking to the wide road goal, and this surely uh, should be their first major goal. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty standard, standard shot here. Uh, he'd be disappointed to miss this one. Yeah, you're not happy. Probably he probably may have taken, taken a little bit too long to get rid of that ball. I can see the umpire's whistle go to his mouth, and even though he got the handball away, that's the match for the game. That's what happens in footy. The Palmy coming in to uh, kick their first major of the day, and he's got it very happy with the kick. Going out to look at the player. Palm Bay should hit the scoreboard now. So we played over 15 and a half, just on 15 and a half minutes in the first quarter of this couple round three clash here at Rococo Oval. And it's Noosa 2 1 to 13, leading Palm Beach 1 1 7. But pretty good in start, I reckon, Jay. Uh, you have to wonder, um, you know, the, the messages from the coaches after two weeks ago. The, uh, obviously, there's been a very, very strong focus on pressure around the football, and it's been uh, you know, a wonderful start in the game. Back into the centre now, as I said, just approaching the 16 minute mark of the first quarter. Tigers up by a goal. And the umpire getting the ball up in the centre. An easy tap out the card from Palm Beach. The ball bounced up by a good boy for them to come out of the centre very easily there, Palmy. But Angus Smith's got it. Takes an easy mark. He looks to transition. He does over to Riley Buntane. Buntane's going up. Towards the wing, out towards the low wire. Flies high, what's he done there? He's being paid against the flying too high. I'm not sure that was a free kick there, JR, but I mean, they're very, they're very, very deep on that these days. You can't go from behind and not make a reasonable attack of the footy. That's a beautiful kick from Palm Beach. Here they go again. He's gone long this time. Down towards full forward. He has a good way to kick to. Mackie Johnson did well. He, he fell to the ground though. What are they going to do here? Palm, he snaps it. They've gone to the hot spot there. The, just 10 minutes out of the roll, and Aaron Lassie takes the ball. Yeah, very, very well read. Over to Fleming. Fleming's not sure what to do with it. He's played on. Now he's got to have to kick it. He's still, there's not much there. He goes on to his left. Goes out towards the centre wing where Harp and Wilson are both there. Harp's got his feet. Wilson's got it back. Good hands there. Cooper Langham and a 16 year old debutant. 16 year old debutant there. Cooper Langham from our Colts, number 13. Now making his debut today for the Lucy Tigers. JR, his father was a, a magnificent footballer here recently, uh, a former senior best in Paris, and obviously his uh, older brother Mitch was a previously player last year for the senior, so uh, great to keep him in the family, it's fantastic. Oh, congratulations to him. Out it comes, quick handball from Lucy, goes to Palm Beach, he gets a rush left forward, kick down towards half forward. No, uh, works his for Palm Beach, works his, uh, works his player under the ball pretty well to take it, goes long into the pocket, yeah, nice way to kick. Wasn't long, it was just a nicely way to kick. He marks his uh, spot there. Number one for Palm Beach is uh, uh, Dawson. So Dawson will line up. He'll be kicking from about 40 to 45 metres out. He's, we've got a fantastic view of this. Arnie Sellers, our cameraman, he's right in front of us where he's speaking, so we'll be able to track this ball as it goes. He's um, throwing a bit of grass up to see which way the wind's going. He'll have to aim this at the right goalpost, um, I would imagine. Let it swing in. Yes, as Dawson comes in now. Just starting to get it. That's right, yeah, that's a magnificent kick from Dawson. That's a really good kick from Dawson. Um, makes this the last three or four minutes on top of the bit JR here, I think. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the pressure's dropped off a little. Um, and if that's enough, you can make a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a heads up. Great kick there, as I said. Oh, beautiful kick from Dawson. Yeah, just uh, aimed it, as I said, just at the right goalpost. And uh, the breeze has brought it back here. So the heads of Noosa scoreboard, even though it, uh, what I'm reading isn't right, I know it's Noosa 2 one thirteen. And Palm Beach are exactly the same. So all square here, approaching the 19 minute mark of the first quarter of this quaffle. Round three clash of Rococo News Rogal. Just a bit of a shout out to Wilson on the wing there, however, on that previous uh, play. I kept his feet really, really well there, and it's a shame to uh, transition into more. As you know, JR, if you're on the ground, you're one man down, so keeping your feet special on a beautiful day like that is uh, vitally important. Oh, they're going hard there, and I, mean, I think the umpire's going to have to ball that up. But uh, right in the centre square we are, ball up, and um, 
Some, some really good contested footy in there. And Alfa says, I'll take it again. Rico goes up, pushes Crow down the way, follows here comes Tyler Stacker, goes through, gets the handball, goes out towards it, palm um, makes it look like they got it. Here, here they go. Nice, that's a beautiful kick. Fantastic kick from Palm Beach from the wing. Yeah, plenty of room up here in this small line, and they're just in their, their skill level. They're very clean at the moment. Uh, they've really picked up their skill with their foot skills in the last five or ten minutes, and they've been able to hit targets. They have, yes, and got used to the conditions and the breeze, and some really, really strong leading out of the square, so. Starting to get quite a big crowd here, too, JR. If we look over at the clubhouse, fantastic. And as I said, I'm sure those sponsors on the uh, heads and noose are all having a. A fantastic day. And kick right on the 50 metre line. Very high looking kick. I think he's kicked it too. That's a fantastic kick. He raises the one finger a la Jonathan Brown did in, did in his lines days. And that's it. Right on our 50 line heading towards the wide right end. And uh, um, they fell on top here in the last all seven or eight minutes. They go to 3 1 19, leading the Lisa Tigers 2 1 13. And we've played 20 and a half minutes in uh, the first quarter. I think, I think the, 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 the Tigers, Tigers here would really like to get their hands on the football and play a little, little bit of a position game to try and um, uh, stem the tide a little bit um, and then uh, counter-attack the identity. Yeah, they just... Um, yeah, you, you do. do. You've got to step the time, just maybe control the ball a little bit. Uh, I know everyone's excited. It's a home game. This is our second game in Coffle. You know, the history that our club's been involved in, and, and the boys were really looking to hunt, and they were disappointed that they lost in round one, and they really want to have a good show. And they would say have, but they've just got to probably stand this a bit to throw. But anyway, and the umpire was right there to say it. What's he done there? He's paid it out. Uh, the other way. No, he's, got his, he's got his hand the wrong way, the umpire, so it goes to Ned Pettigrove. Just slow it down here. Normally a beautiful user of the ball. Pedro goes forward, forward to beautiful kick Wilson And there's, and there's lots of space there for the forward. He wheels around, around now. Goes long. There's, there's someone down there. Who's down there for the other? Jack Harper's there. He's picked behind Willow Dwyer. What can he do? No, Pedro goes there again. He took that out far too easily. And here they are out here from Leach. He did the handball across to 29. He's just going to go short again. He's got a good kick. That's right on Willow Dwyer. Willow Dwyer comes in with his double fister. He's made up for five minutes. He had the make. Get, get there and now create the contest and put the ball out of bounds. Right in front of the Nusha coaching box here. Fine time, time just hurt me here today, guys. Down the umpire, throws it in. Rick does this time, Crow gets it down to Tom Ma. Good tackle there. Now he's hit the sack. I wouldn't have lots of calls from the high level. I think the umpire made the call, the rock prep call there, JR, and he'll come in and ball it up again. I believe it was a little bit high, but um, it's a difficult angle to come in from. Well, he's he's just feeling his way in the scene for Coffle Footy now. He's had a couple of touches. He gets his hands on the ball. Which he, he, that, that's his game probe as a fresh air kick. Tommy Mark, that one is high. He still didn't get it. Meredith gets a smothered kick back towards the, the forward side of the wing for Nusa. Harmony take the line. They change the other one. They've got players out here. And this bloke's 30 runs creating a bit of a, a trouble. But he's been fantastic over on this wing. He goes long. He goes in the center for the beautiful kick. Another one there. Palmy goes, goes long. In the water, the right in the deep. We've got Maggie Johnson on his own back there. Here we come. The threat of the beginning. He's not sure what to do. He's in front of it. Palmy takes what they can do. Gets a handball out. Here it goes again. Quick hands again. Great tackle there from Luther. They're not. They're, 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 the pressure's been outstanding. What's up? I'm going to say that. That's hold the ball. Has to pay him. Luther will get the free kick. Three or four efforts there, JR. A lot of the gang tackling was fantastic. Nicky Johnson was sort of out on, you know, he's two to one down in that contest when it came in forward, so they, they got out of that quite well, Musa. Oh, great, great play by Johnson there. That really stopped, uh, stopped what, what was going to be a certain goal. Meredith gets across the woods, he catches it, he drops it. He normally always takes. He did it, he can't come back and take what he might want to jump on the day. He played out on the ball, brought on John Fitzpatrick. As, As I mentioned earlier, really one of our Aspia line players and one of the really good footballers in this league. He's turned the ball over at a really costly time. Come and play on. They want to get it forward. 31 again. And there it goes. Straight in it. Right in the hot spot. Well, not the hot spot. They're 40 metres out. But uh, that was a bit easier than JR again. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's almost half to here, isn't there? That round about that 40 metre line uh, in front of goal. Um, just needs to be tightened up a bit. Number 31 there, JR, for Palm Beach. He's just coming off for a break, but he's been out. Ethan Hunt been absolutely outstanding in the last 10 or 12 minutes. He really set, set him up over that scoreboard side. side. He's found a lot of space, hasn't he? He has. Yes. He's really, really hurting with Coco and the Tigers. This is quite no worries with the distance to fall from 50 JR, so you think you get the distance, whether he gets just a very high kick of the football. He's going and he's pretty happy. This goes up again. 
Palm, Palm Beach score again, again. So, so they kick the last four of the game. game. And, and uh, Palm, Palm Beach go to 4 one Leading the Lizard Tigers, Tigers 2 one and, and yeah, the, the last 10 minutes they've been well on top, Jaya. Yeah, they have been. Um, that, uh, that play there, he kicks that ball so high. He's he's gonna, we get, get rain, we we'll, we'll <laughs> That's it, but uh, no, no, beautiful, beautiful kick for Gala, does he? Yeah. Two, he's, uh, that, that, as you said before, the delivery going in has been fantastic to the forward. So it's certainly a pressure from the on ball, so it's a bit better. And, uh, and uh, obviously, too, too now we've, we've made, made a couple, couple of silly errors where, where we've missed kicked and all that, and that, that's, that's what happens. And then this standard of footy, they'll, uh, they'll make you pay. Yeah, yeah that's all right. I was impressed with this kick after doing that second effort after he um, uh, didn't dispose of the, the ball correctly. Over on the far wing. Just, just racking it out with Craig. He goes to Tyler Stack, Stack no 10. The umpire says so. Stack runs off, has a bounce. Here's a handball under Ward Meredith, who's getting his hands on the foot footy bit. He's got to go long in the Ward Wilson, who's been outstanding when the ball's been in his area the whole time. He takes it, does well. Gets a handball, gets it out. Palm Beach got numbers here again. They're actually covering each other very well from defence over there at the moment. Down the Ward Flasky, what can they do? Gets a handball back, but Cribben comes in. Grabs the footy. He's got to go long, and he goes long in the Ward. Centre forward, there's no one there. Palm Beach got it there. And the Dylan Gongles is the only loose bloke, and Palm Beach requires it. Easily, easily take, take that ball in defence and then they transition, switch it over the other side. Yeah, they're pretty happy to keep running. Carmen, they're, they're, they're on top at the moment. Out of constant big probe. The big, big ops at Sereno Premiership player and Palm Lake Premiership player gives it off. Right in front of their coach's spot. Goes to Lord Sennar for a beautiful kick. Their kick, their kick, their skill at the moment is absolutely fantastic. He wheels around 99, goes towards Ray Roy, the boy takes him out. 99's got a bit of space at the moment, hasn't he? We, we did get numbers, numbers back there, JR. When you look, look back, back it was only one, one on the four half, so we're able to take away. Matthew Johnson, Johnson takes it out here at the half, half, half back flank. Water right in, he's going to switch it back the other way towards the other end. Why is it? No, it's why it's at the cribbing, the vice captain. Is he going to go? Is he going to try and pull the trigger out of the centre? No, he's going to go towards. It's Dylan Goblin. Goblin goes up. That's good. Stack's got it now. Can he get out of this? No, good tackle from Palm Beach. That was really good pressure. Goblin grabs it. Tries to get away. Can't. Palm Beach all over at the moment. The foot's here. We go again. He's in trouble. This 99 is everywhere, JR. He's got... Would you be looking for Timmy dropping someone back in a hole? Well, I think you've got to do that. Whether you make a switch on his direct opponent, I'm not too sure, but that's... But, but I'm, I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure the time he's actually lining up for his third goal in what, six or seven minutes? Yeah. Uh, here, here he comes. comes. You know the distance, distance uh, won't, won't bowl him. But he's a beautiful the height, the height, the height that he gets off the ball is unbelievable when he comes down for his third. Just over 27 minutes played in the first quarter. He's really happy with it again, mate. You only have to look at the point and that's a quarter time. She's, She's a fantastic, fantastic last 10 or 12 minutes from the Palm Beach from the lines. Oh, like their skills, their, their foot skills going forward were absolutely fantastic. And, and they, they lead a quarter time. It's 5 1 31. The, the Palm, Palm Beach leading the Rococo Nusa Tigers 2 1 at 13. On our heads, the Nusa scoreboard. And a very, very good last 10 or 15 minutes from Palm Beach for their foot skills. And their general ball movement was first class. We, we might, might just take a break here on Tiger TV, TV while quarter time. We'll be back with you for the second quarter in not too long. Thank, Thank you. you. Just head 7Ks that way. 2Ks that way. 7Ks that way. 7Ks that way. John Medill Toyota. At the Auto Park, your Monday Road, Nooseville. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. Ah, good question. Yeah, the, the lagers are a thing that we, oh, we always wanted to have a really strong lager being in Queensland, being something that, that we drank um, and really enjoyed. 
it's nothing harder than, than brewing a good lager because you, you've basically got nowhere to hide. Uh, it's, it's a very clean style because of the, the clean fermentation process that it goes through. Um, and there's, there's nowhere for, that, uh, for those off flavors to hide. So if there is something wrong, um, it, it's there in your face. And you know, we enjoy the challenge of, of creating a, a great tasting, clean, easy drinking lager. Learning more about lagers, that time that it took us to really understand it, we felt it was wasted if we didn't carry that on to other beers. So yeah, it was really just a passion. It's a real challenge brewing them. Um, so yeah, it was just a, making the most of what we'd sort of learnt in that, in that you know, 10 year period almost to set up. So quarter time here at Tiger TV. As mentioned before, it's Park Beach, 5-1-31, leading the Noosa Tigers, 2-1-13. I could quite get what uh, 
Bobble was saying to his players, even though he's right in front of us there, JR, did you happen to hear what he was uh, saying to the Tigers? Uh, definitely locked down in the back line um, and win the contest, the hard contest around the football. And when we get on the outside, um, just be take a little more care uh, in going forward. Yeah, I think that's spot on too. Just a couple of just sloppy disposals, you know, in the last... I mean, Palm Beach did get on top, but uh, the pressure certainly has been there, JR, I think, right, right from the work done. It has. It's um, getting to getting that clean uh, contest, getting a clean ball out of the contest. Get back to that, and um, they will get to find themselves back in the game. All right, guys. Beautiful day here at Noosa. Rococo Noosa Oval. Uh, fantastic crowd on the terrace there, and obviously our yeah, sponsors day, who we can't see from here on the uh, heads of Noosa Lord. And uh, as I've mentioned a few times, uh, can't thank them enough, and uh, I hope to and trust and know actually that they're having a fantastic day. Second quarter about to start here. Quaffle round three, Noosa versus Palm Beach. There goes the ball. Or it goes up. Riley Rickard just makes it a, a 50 50 contest. Once again, hard at the footy there. Up I says I'll uh, come in and pull it up. Rickard's had a great start from the game. He's been outstanding. He's really pushed up. But he's, he's, he loses a lot of height there, JR. But he's been fantastic as Noosa goes forward. Good, good work from Fleming. He's going to be caught here. And he is. The umpire said no. He, could have, he did get a foot to it. It was Palm Beach down in Deuce's forward line. They're going to try and run it out through hands, and they did. It's a good handball there. They look to transition and keep running as well. Over towards a little, little, little left foot kick, which is perfect. Their foot skills have been really, really good, in the, as I said, in the, the last 10 or 15 minutes of this quarter. Goes in towards the centre. Palm Beach take it again. A lot of uncontested marks. Here's another one. Here he goes again. 31, who's really, really good in that first quarter. They're, they're everywhere there. They're lining up to take that JR. Now they are three or four blokes. You can hear the call. No, you take it, you take it. There are plenty of them there. Oh, when that 31 gets the football, I think every forward in their forward line, guys, light up, mate. <laughs> you know, he's been outstanding and uh, shows a bit of toe. He went around on his left there and that was uh, fantastic football. That was Ethan Hunt, isn't it? It was Ethan Hunt. Was that the name of the... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no. Yeah. Started the second quarter just as well as you finished the first. So, Palm Beach, number one here, lining up 45 metres directly in front, kicking against the... Oh, I was pretty happy with that, mate. You only have to look at the player. They're not missing too many party uh, when they're uh, when they're in that uh, in that 50 metre arc and in front of goals, not on the angles. But uh, that's where they want the ball to go. All forward coaches will tell you that's where the ball should be uh, delivered, where you've got a, a much better chance of kicking your goal. So with uh, only one minute, just under two minutes of the second quarter started, and Palmy have opened up with the first goal. They go to 6-1-37, leading the Noosa Tigers 2-1-13. That's off to their goal kicking skills. Uh, they've got very, very compact kicks and um, you know, they're deadly accurate when they're in front of goal. I know it's only early JR, but it's, uh, I think it's pretty imperative that Noosa get the next one. Oh, absolutely. Got it really got to send the tide here and then counter attack. One point comes in the bounce the ball. Up it goes again. Crow this time tucks it down towards McKendrick. McKendrick tries to get it out. He's got to get to hold the man. Is, that, is it McKendrick or Fitzpatrick? Now it's McKendrick. Next Werribee and uh, Wodonga boy goes long towards Jake Stewart. Beautiful mark. Hit it on the hit it on the hit it on the sprint. It was a beautiful kick from McHenry. Stewart turns around, goes to Wilson. That's a oh he's dropped one he normally he would eat. Goes around again, butters up, which is good. This time he didn't. It'd be a good tackle from Stewart. Trying to get it back out. That's hold oh, he's dropped it there again. The tackling pressure of Moose is still there. Still at centre half forward. It, they're, they're really hunting Moose. They're not coming back the Palm Beach try and get it out can they get it out of here there's players on the around the ball every, oh that should have been around the dead neck to Fitzpatrick he tried to get it Merrin takes the ball kicks it long down towards it over towards the forward pocket Noosa Wilder right in that was an absolute dart into Wilson wasn't it no he yeah, it's a, but isn't that one of those things that J.A. and then all of a sudden when you're lining up for goal from 25-30 metres out now you're in a boundary throw in sort of in a defensive position yeah it's a big, trip, big change isn't it not a defensive position, but Palm Beach would be very happy to have that ball where it is right now. Every umpire throws it in. What a short throw. Might have been a push in the back to Crow, but he didn't get a good pick up there from Meredith. Gets the handball out. Can't get it back out. Jack Harper tries to just bang it on his boot down towards Wilson, who grabs the footy. No prior opportunity. Gee, he can never get a free kick. He's going to get a free kick, Wilson. He can butter up from the running miss before JR. He's got one right in front of goal, Wilson. 20 metres out directly in front. And definitely a free kick there. He got rid of that footy and that bloke kept tackling him. Yes, look, it's um, Chance to Atone, isn't it, here? But, uh, uh, look, he, he should slot this one, Pitsy. And as I said, he's looked very, very dangerous. Uh, already kicked a goal and um, 
look, every time it's been in his area, something looks like it's going to happen. So Wilson just needs to slot this one. As I said, 20 metres 20 out directly in front. He's banging it straight through the middle. Looks like he might have had a bit proppy there, but no. Good goal from Wilson as the Tigers go to 3-1-19. Trailing Palm Beach 6 one we We'll play just over four minutes in the second quarter. Uh, it's still very contested, JR, but when it gets out wide, the, the skills have been fantastic. Yeah, hats off to Meredith there in that forward line too. You put a lot of pressure on um, the, the Palm Beach team there and cause a turnover there. Uh, probably not going to get the recognition or the stats for that, but uh, really good pressure inside 50 for Meredith. Yes, it was, and he was the one actually that got the handball out to clear it as well. So there's three or four efforts there, JR, that uh, uh, you, you hit, it, uh, hit it there spot on. So back into the centre now. Just under five minutes, second quarter here. QAFL does round three, Noosa versus Palm Beach, Rick Arden Crow. Crow takes down the ruck and bangs it onto his left foot. A bobbly torpedo punt goes forward, deep into their forward, and they're happy just to keep pushing the ball forward. They have over the back there, Buntane, can he help? Mackie Johnson tackles. The ball comes out to Palm Beach, good tackle from the Primmon. Here they go again. What's happened there? There's been a free kick paid here, JR, and I think it's against Noosa. It is. Yeah, that be a kick from the boundary line. I didn't see what happened. He's played on anyway. What's he done? He's come around the corner and Palm Beach had slotted it through. I don't know. That might have been an undiscipline, I reckon. From what I can hear from Noosa's coach's box there, I think it might have been a bit of some words come from our vice captain McCrimmon that might have given that free kick away. But that's certainly not what you need now, JR. Ill discipline when you're three or four goals down, you just can't have. Mentioned before how important the, the previous goal was for Noosa. They need to string a couple together. So on the scoreboard now, five for nearly under six minutes being played, and it's Palm Beach 7 1 43, leading the Noosa Tigers 3 1 19. Just the wind starting to maybe pick up a little bit, JR. It's just us in our commentary box. We're quite high up here, but it seems like it's a, a little bit stronger. Yeah, it is a bit breezy up here. Um, but it shouldn't affect any play on the ground. Need to answer this back straight away. The Tigers, as the umpire comes in to bounce the ball. Rickard, done a mountain of work so far, gets the ball down. Beautiful tap, and it's Fitzpatrick who just takes it away nicely. Goes long. Is Wilson on a one out? On a one out. He's got it. Very dangerous, Wilson. He's on top of his opponent. Fantastic, fantastic ruck work from Rickard, who we've talked about already. And John Fitzpatrick just showed his class going through the centre there, and a fantastic delivery to uh, Aaron Wilson, who really is uh, posing a problem for the Palm Beach. It was. Perfect delivery, lace out delivery at full pelt, which is very, very difficult. Anyone who played football knows how difficult that is to do. It was a beautiful kick. And I think so far, JR, like when Wilson's one out, you know, with his opponent, he looks very dangerous, doesn't he? He, he looks like a bigger body, doesn't he? Here he comes, 30 metres out, he's just stabbed at that. He's got it though, that's his third. No, he's having a cracking game, Aaron Wilson. Um, as Noosa goes to 4-1, 25, trailing Palm Beach, 7-1, yeah, that's, that's what they had to do, JR. They had to get that quick reply. Yeah, yeah, they um, had to claw one back very, very quickly after that. Um, really an unnecessary goal down the other end, wasn't it? Well, the boys are working hard in the middle there. As we've, we've talked about Rickard, he's been outstanding in the first you know, quarter and a bit. Uh, Fitzpatrick in there is always dangerous and the way he just moves through there. That's what he, he can turn... Uh, Turn the speed up when he has to. He's uh, very hard to tackle. That was fantastic footy from the Rooster Tigers. In comes the umpire again. Centre bounce goes by Rickard. Get, gets it out again. Crow just looking a bit proppy there as he comes back. The Noosa should have numbers there. Comes out the back of the pack there where Fitzpatrick's got it. He's got to go quick hand over towards Stack. Follow Stack. Haven't seen much room. Just wobbles a kick up in the air. Down towards centre forward. Meredith moves his player out of the way pretty well. But there's plenty of Palm Beach numbers back there. Here it goes. Oh, good work there from Jake Stewart. Gets it back towards the Kendrick Meredith. Goes in with his head first. It probably should have been a ball of a free kick. He still gets his hands back. Stack gets it again. He goes long. Tommy Mar's got to go for this. He does. He, get, no, that, he gets it again. Good work. That's, a, that's Cooper Langer, the 16-year-old. Just good, couldn't handle to a new supply. Gets it back to Palmy. And they'll just steady. And they steady back. Go to Crowe. Crowe to wheel around on his big left foot. He's got a handball as he goes over. They've got runners there. I think that's 31 again. Goes towards centre, for, uh, centre wing position. John Fitzpatrick getting his plenty of hands on the ball. Goes back towards Stack, who's getting hands on the ball too. Goes towards Wilson, who's attacking it. And a good attack at it. Meredith tries to get through. Beautiful little handball out towards Cooper Langan. Cooper Langan turns around. Goes to Jack Harper. He's in the goal scoring zone. Fantastic effort, Cooper Langan. Fantastic 
second effort from Brett Meredith and Joy Fitzpatrick again involved in that but I love the attack on the ball once again from Wilson and it looked like it was all Palm Beach uh, yeah that, congratulations to Langan there great kicking like I said that was a real um, real group effort there wasn't it to get that to Jack Harper who just snuck back off his opponent into the goal square and uh, he should uh, clean this up Jack Harper already kicked one Wilson being the other multiple goal kicker uh, Wilson sorry but, uh, kicking three so Jack Harper 10 metres out directly in front Bags it straight through the middle, so the Tigers a little bit of a comeback here, JR. They've got a bit of a sentence in the last five or six minutes after that uh, ill discipline. Uh, so Noosa 5 1 31. Training by two goals now, Palm Beach 7 1 43. Plenty of, um, plenty of voice in that from the Noosa coaches box next door, JR. Yeah, what I'm, what I'm really impressed with, Pitsy, is that uh, forward line pressure. If you keep getting repeat entries and keep getting repeat marks inside 50, you're going to keep goals, and that's what we're seeing happening in the last five or ten minutes from Lusa. And a great little uh, passage of play from the 16-year-old Cooper Langley there that got the boot on the ball there, and that was fantastic. Yeah, it was only a couple of minutes ago I was going to mention him and his second effort in that previous contest, and then um, to get to his foot and ball there uh, as another effort was um, outstanding. No, fantastic effort from the Tigers. They've come out, they want that footy. Here we go again. Up in the middle, Rickard. Crow gets it again. Down towards Meredith, who's been really, really good. Gets another handball. This one didn't hit the target unless he's overrun it, which he didn't want to do. He went to ground a little bit. Just a couple of fumbles. Did the tackle. has been outstanding for Noosa. What's the umpire going to do? He's going to play the whole ball. Noosa will get the free kick. Off he goes again. That's flooding from Warner. Goes long. Not a great kick, though. It's got to be a free kick. No, he didn't play it. I thought he would have got the free kick there. Palmy had it in there, but no, Joy Fitzpatrick applied the pressure. Needed to tackle there, Musa, but he bumped. But pick up Big Crow gets. He always wheels around the left. Goes long into the dangerous forward line of Palm Beach. There they go again. They're happy to move it. Well, Palm Beach have got the ball here. It looks like uh, Nick Johnson there. Gives it over towards the, the forward. It's kick three. He, get, he ha puts it up to Lasky. Lasky's got now. Here they transition. Beautiful kick from Lasky. Lasky goes over towards Meredith. What's Meredith going to do? He's going to, he's going to pull the trigger going to the centre, which he does. Now Pettigrew drops one that he should have taken. I don't know what happened there. He, uh, Palm Beach get the ball back out. Mackie Johnson, well attacked. Gets the ball forward. Palm Beach overrun it. Meredith again. Beautiful pickup. He's going to play a throw here, the umpire Indies. Meredith just couldn't get a beautiful pick up from Bet Meredith there, but he just couldn't get the other hand to get the handball off. And uh, big John Crow, as I said uh, before. Serena Boy, the, the club that I played with down in Victoria, um, actually played with his father, played cricket with his father as well. Uh, gets a handball, they played on here, they might have given this one away. He's still got numbers back there, good work there from the Crimin. Gets the ball on the stack, he's starting to get plenty of the footy. Goes right, right, has he got anyone there? Goes into the centre, Willow Boy, haven't seen much here today. He tried to give it off, couldn't get the right handball, but tack followed up his tackle really well. McKendrick goes in to try and get the footy. Palm Beach blokes everywhere. There goes Honey, he tries to get the ball onto his boot, which he does. Down at the... Uh, Go again. Very high pressure. Lots of tackles down there. Just quick kicks. Very rushed. Didn't need the bounce. Right in on time. He's hot, but he gets around beautifully. Does it well. McCrimmon and him worked that out well. They're back, but they've played a lot of footy together. McCrimmon goes towards center wing. Willow Dwyer, what can he do? He's made a contest and done very well to get the ball back out. Palm Beach got numbers there, though. And they'll just relieve it. They're going to slow it up a bit. Didn't get the kick, but crowed again. Starting to get a bit of the footy, the big ruckman on the left foot. Goes long towards Lusky. That's a free kick. You're right in the back, and Aaron Lusky will come back. And they're, they're going to play the advantage. Better go. Goes long towards Harper. A good kick. Harper grabs it on it. And a back flag. What can he do here? Is there anyone there? He's going to go for Wilson. A long kick right in front of our college. He's got Wilson flies. Can't, can't grab it in the end. There's Palm pa pa Beach the numbers. Cooper Langham overran at that time. Palm Beach getting out the back. Here they go again. There are the Kenny tackle. Now he got out of the tackle. Here they go. Back towards centre half forward. Rolly Bantay. Good fist. Just forward the centre wing, JR, Palm Beach way, uh, but very contested. The game back on even Keel right at, right at this minute, I'd say. Yes, it is. Um, great tackling efforts on both sides. It's um, I've been really impressed with uh, the way that the, the, the Nursa team's gone about it in the second quarter to really claw back that margin. Uh, that's what the coach asked. As you said, that you wanted them to roll up and keep the pressure on and the tackling pressure's been outstanding. You need your, you need your gun midfielders like your Meredith and your Fitzpatrick and your stacks to get plenty of the footy and they, they actually are at the moment. Meredith, as we speak again, gets it out towards uh, Wilson who goes over towards 
Stack who's getting plenty of it for Pettigrew. Nice handball to McCrimmon. That's good transition. McCrimmon goes long. Willow draws there. He should mark that and he does. What's he going to do? He might like to play on here. He's going to look for Wilson. Wilson's everywhere. Where's it? He's got the oh, they got one back on Wilson now. You notice that they put one back there, JR. So there's one just in front of him, which is smart. Stack again has had plenty of the footy. He's got he's waiting for some of the lead. He's got to go for long. All the way. Who's there? Coach Stewart has to have a crack at it. And he does. Oh, he nearly marks it. Rush through from behind. Good, good, bit, of, bit, of, bit of good effort there, JR. They're still pushing, very pressing the Noosa Tigers. Just over 14 minutes of the second quarter. Noosa Tigers 5-2, 32, trailing Palm Beach, 7-1, 43. They go the little, just a little, uh, the short option out of fullback. They're going to go short again. They're just going to control the ball, steady it down a bit. Noosa have got the ascendancy in the, in the way the game's been played at the moment for the last five or ten minutes. So we, uh, they just want to control the ball. Here we go again through the centre now, Palmer with a string of handballs, chain of handballs, good smarter there. Here he goes, we've got to put some pressure on us, he gets it out again, well done. Mackie Johnson takes it, D didn't get the kick he wants, but still should, might fall off. Fitzpatrick picks it up brilliantly, can he pick it up again, he does. They're all over him, that's beautiful play from Fitzpatrick. He goes out there, Matt Pettigrew, he's going to have to work, you can hear Bombolino say, go Matt, work. And he does it, Palm Beach had the numbers back there, he's fallen over there, has he got the chance to get the handball, he does. Still got numbers there. They're just pressing, they don't mind taking the risky kick, Palm Beach, as they go right back into the last line of defence. They'll go on. You hear Bobolino just say, pressing, pressing, pressing. So they've gone back, they're right back into the uh, Noosa Tigers uh, goal square. Last line of defence. Go short again. As we mentioned earlier, they'll uh, I'll watch it in the reserves. They don't mind just hitting up their teammate. If they make a lead, they... Uh, they respect it. Away they go. Party through centre half back now. Through little handballs. Now they're out. Here they go. Have they got anything up there? There's not much up forward. There wasn't much leading there, but they go back through the centre now. Then another handball over the top and Palmy are out now. We've got players here. Number five has a bounce. Goes towards the centre half forward line. That's a beautiful kick to put down forward. Has the forward got it. That's good work from last year, the captain. Brilliant. Follows up unbelievably. Should have had a free kick there. He didn't have the ball. He's still free effort from the skipper. That's good. He's still going on his own against three Palm Beach blokes. They turn around. Palmy still get it back. He's got to go long. What's going to happen here? Oh, it's unbelievable, Mark. Unbelievable, Mark. And that's from uh, what this bloke was fantastic in the first half. The kicks our first quarter, the kicks three goals. I think Jr. Is it? Yeah, number ninety nine. I don't know his name or paper. We don't have number ninety nine. We'll call him Get Smart. <laughs> we'll call him Get Smart this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, he's he's been very smart in what he's produced so far today. He's lining up for goal number four, and that was a a, a screaming mark down. He's only ten metres out, directly in front. Here he comes to extend the Palm Beach lead. He's done it again, that's four, fantastic. He's created a bit of a problem down there, that Palm Beach forward. And uh, Palm Beach now go to 8 1 49, leading the Lusa Tigers 5 2 32. And JR, probably not, yeah, Palm, we didn't need to let Palm Beach get one there. No, it's um, <laughs> ill timing, but I was very impressed with um, the work of the captain there. That was, uh, like you called it, 3 4. Um, efforts to get that ball out of the fence and, and, really and probably a little bit stiff not to get a free kick initially but I mean we don't complain about umpires here at Tiger TV Palm Beach extend their lead they now lead Noosa by 17 points yeah umpires do a wonderful job they do but uh, Lassie his efforts here that's a, that's what, that's a captain's knock really that was to try and rally his team to get that ball out of the fence yeah, big few minutes coming up now Noosa have really got some ascendancy back and Palm have been able to kick a couple of goals this quarter but uh, the Tigers uh, just need to Answer it again. Reset. Michael They've done it well. Well done, Ricard. Good, good, fantastic chapter, McKendrick. Well, what's he played there? He's played a play on. I'm not sure. That was a late call. One umpire didn't play it. The other umpire did. But it'll come back. Uh, McKendrick got his opponent around the neck. And the Palm Beach boy will uh, take the ball in the centre of the ground. Just right in the centre of the ground. Just slipped slightly high that tackle, Pitsy. It could have been called either way. They continue to go short, JR. They, they uh, look at the leads and they honour them, and uh, I think that's the way they've been taught. They're not into kicking big bombs, although it does go long this time. The Rolling Bone take, takes a fantastic mark, and that lands pretty heavily on his back. I hope he's all right, but uh, fantastic mark. He, he's got to give the handball off. He goes to Riley O'Dwyer, who's a thumping right foot kick. He goes out wide. 
who's that out there? That's Lasky, the captain, who's been fantastic this quarter. Goes long again. Really good option. Free kick there. Well done. Great market there. Is that drive? That's Cooper Langan, young Cooper Langan. Fantastic effort from the 16-year-old. Just kept his eyes on the footy. He goes long. The nice right foot kick out towards Wilson, who they're double teaming now. If we need someone over there, Noosa do need someone to help him there. They've got numbers everywhere. Good tackling pressure again from Wilson. Really good footy. Their tackling's been outstanding, I think, JR today. Noosa, they're really, they're hunting. Apart from a patch in that first, you know, late in that first quarter where they dropped off a little bit, I think they've been right on the money. Uh, absolutely, and as you recall, that last 10 minutes, when the pressure dropped off, the tackle pressure dropped off, that's when the score happened. Can't get it. Fitzpatrick tries to go through. Good handball there from Palm Beach. No, this time it's Cooper Langman has a shot. He's got to go around the back there. Willow Dwyer is on the ground. This is where it's very dangerous. The boys are it. He couldn't get it. Palm Beach will work it out. Still pressure there. They've got a trap. Got a chase. They're going to go for the little one. He does it well. Out towards the half forward flank and Palm Beach will take it. Right on the 50 meter mark. Defensive side. Defensive end for them. Plenty of calls. They'll go for the little one. That's what they do. They go for the little kick. That's the way they do it. They've been doing it in the reserves. And they've done it all day today in the centre so far. As you know, the centre. Nearly true centre-half back position. Not true centre-half back, right a centre-half back position now. Still looking to go sideways. They're just happy to control the ball at the moment, it looks like they are. Uh, it's, it's modern day football, isn't it? It's um, as much what you do um, when you have momentum as when you don't have momentum. And they're wrestling the momentum back here from Noosa. When you start the opponent with football, that's what happens. That was a pretty poor kick from Tom. He had no pressure on him whatsoever. And... Uh, Probably just trying to be a little bit too cute there, but he's put it out of bounds. So, uh, uh, Corey Long, who played a fantastic game for Noosa last week, brings the ball back in, but it wasn't a pinpoint kick, and Palm Beach were able to pick that one off, and now here they go. Transitioning over the other side with a switch over the heads of Noosa's scoreboard side. Running the ball down towards the wing now. They look to go forward. Beautiful kick here, gets smart, has got it again. He's been outstanding up forward for Palmy. He's looking for someone there. Very keen on going. Oh, Stack just went through his legs. Crow turns around on that booming left foot kick. What can he do? And I think it's ran. No, it's gone through from behind. So Palmy, uh, another score there. Probably should have done better than that. He didn't have a lot of pressure on him. He, he probably rushed it a little bit more. But Palm Beach now, uh, 8 2 50. Three goals ahead of the Noosa Tigers, 5 2 32. You see, that kick was testament to the pressure that Noosa has been yes. putting on. There's an implied pressure there when you, as you said, he had a lot more time than what he thought he did. And you're right, uh, implied or perceived pressure is a very big thing for you, and they, they think they've got more time but because the tackling of Noosa has been fantastic so far. That's that's how it pans out. We're on the half half forward flank for Palm Beach, right in front of our, uh, the, our uh, clubhouse. Uh, the terrace is there with, with a big crowd there. Palm go forward again with quick hands. Down towards the forward pocket, which way is the ball going to bounce? That looks like Lasky again is working, he's working his backside off there for Noosa. Comes out towards Lobb. A few taps and uh, a few fumbles there, the ball will go over the boundary line, the umpire, and the umpire said, I'll come and uh, throw it in. And we've just played 21 and a half minutes of the second quarter here. QAFL round three for Coco Noosa Tigers versus Palm Beach. A great quarter by Cooper Lane, really rewarding selectors by putting the faith in him this week. Oh, fantastic, buddy. He looks, he doesn't look, he doesn't look out of sorts at all. He's a confident young kid. He's, he, he's played some fantastic junior footy and uh, well deserved. He's high up uh, with the Brisbane Lions Academy with the under nine program. And uh, as it's a good mark from Dylan Godwin. Matt Pettigrew used the ball well. They've got numbers everywhere back here. They're going to have to. There is no one here, so they're just. That's what they're going to have to do. That wasn't the best kick, but it doesn't matter. Dylan just overcooked the kick there, Godwin, and then it goes over the boundary line and it'll be thrown in. Not far from our commentary position, JR, right in front of them, uh, Adam Bobolino and Tilly and uh, uh, Benny Collins and the and the boys, our assistant coaches and coaching group. Yeah, we've got a great look at this. And it comes. Right, Rickard gives it over to O'Dwyer, needs to get his hands more on the ball, he's starting to. He, he's the sort of player that can get us right back in the game. Fleming, that's a free kick. Yeah, that's a free kick to McKendrick. He was the one that was running the ball first at the footy. That was very smart play. Protected the ball there and then drew the free kick. Well, there's no worries about this bloke with uh, courage or toughness. He's a, he's a fantastic half, a beautiful kick. Beautiful kick towards Wilson. Where is he? Oh, he nearly had his hands on the ball. Fitzpatrick, there's no one else there. Palmy got plenty of numbers there. They need to get the ball out. Here we can. What's that going to do? He's going back to Fitzpatrick. Now he's in trouble. Now he got away with that just. Goes long. There's no one there. Palm Beach will take the mark. Right on the back. They're getting numbers back, JR, now. You can definitely see that. Yeah, they're rushing straight back, aren't they? To block up that hole that um, Wilson's been leading. Oh, yes, no. Poor kick from Palm Beach. They've gone across to the fat side of the ground there. And um, 
Uh, young Cooper Langan's uh, read the play beautifully, and Cooper Langan will line up for about, I'd say it's 40, 45 metres out. And um, this will be a fantastic every day kick from here. He's a uh, beautiful right foot kick, but I don't want to moss him either, JR, the young fella, but he's uh, certainly had a, an impact in this quarter. Uh, good luck for him with this kick. Just off line. Just off line. Right side of the goal post. You, you mentioned there, Parby, were getting back in heavy numbers into the back line there. I think that really affected that kick um, to to do the transition when the players weren't there. They were too deep for the transition. Nice long kick from Parby out towards right in front of our coach's box. Jake Short bro, bro, flies beautifully. Heads over the ball there from Parmy. Good handball out. They just need to get it for out the back there. They've got players there. They need to hold it in here. Well done from Fleming from Noosa. Stacks on the middle again. The umpire lets it go. And the umpire says, I'll come in and ball it up. Great fight from Fleming there. Yes, yes, he didn't want to give the ball away. The umpire just balls it up, which often is the way to go. Stewart runs through, but doesn't take the ball. Palm Beach get the ball out towards centre wing. Long, the ball gets a bad bounce. Here comes Riley Buntain. What's he going to do? He does well. Gets a handball. Oh, it's not a great handball, but it needed, to be, it needed to be a kick there. Anyway, Palm Beach will take it out towards the wing. Got a bit of time. Goes in towards the centre. It's a beautiful kick. That's a magnificently rated kick right in front of us. Yeah. Here they go. Up towards the forward. Now they've got to get back here because Palmy had blokes and they had it. They've still got blokes over the back and he turns around. Yeah, just a bit of uh, bit of frustration coming from our box, uh, the Noosa coaches box there, JR, and I, I totally agree. Buntain did all the right thing by winning the footy, but that, at that point in time I think it was the get it on the boot rather than the handball. Yeah, it's very, very difficult to um, do a handball into someone who's stationary when they put with a player directly on you um, for that player receiving the ball to make anything uh, special of it. Uh, so it really did need to go on the boot there and, and split that defence. Number one here again for Palm Beach. Lines up, 45 out. No, she's missed that. And she's missed everything, I think. No, the umpire, well, the goal umpire says no. Well, uh, it definitely got through from behind. Didn't look like it from where we are, but you never know the angles sometimes. Yeah, from so, point, straight over the top of the it, it certainly did. But uh, 20, just over, just nearly at the 26 mark of the second quarter, we've got Palm Beach 8-3-51, three goals ahead of the Noosa Tigers, 5-3-33. As they go again, Palmy looking to go forward. Nice hand all out the side. Couldn't get it though. Overcooked the handball the boundary line and runs over the boundary line. Definitely had numbers back though with, with Wilson, haven't they, JR? That, that might have been a reason that Buntain wanted the handball and not kick because they were pushing numbers back. It's uh, easier to, to call it when you're not out there, but um, it's been a very pretty bit of an intriguing second quarter, actually. Uh, you're right there. It will affect the kick and, and the decision making when there's two back on the play. Uh, I want to, I want to see someone now at Wilson's feet. Tried to do too much again there, Palmy. Just trying to. They're just using. They, they reward the bloke that's calling for the ball to lead up. Goes long into a hot spot. Up it goes, Mackie Johnson goes back, lands awkward, very awkward. Lasky again, gives it to Buntain. What's he going to do? He can't do anything, there's no one there. Just handballs freely. Palm Beach got numbers, Noosa right on him. Good work, good pressure there. Here goes Cooper Lagan again. Didn't miss the handball this time. Goes towards a Palm Beach plate. That's get smart, he goes long. Here we go, the ball spills over it. No, he's missed it off the ground. Gone through for another behind. Great pressure. Fantastic, fantastic pressure there from, um, from the Noosa Tigers. Tyre and all those boys are uh, it, from both from both teams really. Jr. The pressure there and the intensity was fantastic. Yeah, it was that the um, the pressure then stopped a certain run into open goal. But I'm really impressed with Johnson's game. He, he always gives 100. percent Yes, he does, mate. Uh, no, he's got a brilliant game today. Yeah, he's got plenty of uh, plenty of courage. Watches the footy, Riley right, Tyre. Just going to give the short one over his skip, skip Alaski, who takes the ball. Right in front of the uh, Tony Fitzpatrick JD construction sign, one of our uh, life members and one of the uh, the prime builders in town. Here comes Riley Buntain. He doesn't need to fumble it again. What's he got to do? He's just got to get it onto his boot. And he did this time. Out towards Meredith and O'Dwyer. They got heaps of the road. O'Dwyer says, I'll take it. I'm going to have a run. Gives it off to Meredith. Good user of the ball normally. Goes towards Harper. Harper's running at it. Here he goes. Will O'Dwyer's got to keep running on. He's going to. And he's got. Is he in trouble though? No, what's happened here? He's paid the free kick to Jack Harper on the half forward flank over there, JR. No advantage, Pitsy. So the ball will go back to Harper. Yep. 
But uh, you reckon that no matter what the other players were doing, Buntane was definitely going to kick that. Yes, 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 <laughs> I would say so. But uh, Jack Harper is a booming kick in the football. He'll nearly back himself to kick this. No, he doesn't want to. He's looking for Wilson, but he's being double tapped, but he still goes in that direction. They're all getting back there. He Wilson makes a great contest at it. Here we go again. Good hands from Palm Beach. Gets the ball on. Quick hands again over the hunt. He's been fantastic. Oh, that's holding the ball right in front of us. The umpire says play on. He did have prey. Anyway, they get out the other side now, Palm Beach, and they're just going to slow it up. Look for an option up forward, which is a beautiful kick. That's what they do. True set of wing now. Palmy go forward again. He's got a, they've got a number out here. Plenty of players. What have they got up forward there? Not much. Noosa got numbers back ever. It's two on to five down here, boys. So let's see how we go down towards center. Set up forward. No mark there. Lasky touched the four. So I said play on. There's a siren, ladies and gentlemen, for half time here at Rococo Noosa Oval. Uh, 28 minutes and 57 seconds that second quarter went for. And the scoreboard reads Palm Beach Crumb and 8 4 52. Leading the Noosa Tigers 5-3-33. And what did you make of that quarter, JR? Great fight back there by Noosa. Uh, towards the last 10 minutes of that first quarter, you sort of thought uh, Palm Beach are looking like they're really going to run away with this. But um, great fight back from Noosa. The pressure was on all over the ground. A couple of little mistakes here and there, but uh, you know, you've know you got to take your hats off to them. They've really followed the coach's instructions to the letter. No, 